Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how I can make your computer look like a Mac. So my computer right here kind of looks like Windows, um, not Windows, Mac, but it actually is Windows 8. So what you want to do is go ahead and go over to Google Chrome or your uh, favorite browser and go to rocketdoc.com. So you want to install this and it will give you a dock like this. But not just that, you need to go over to this when you install it, get add-ons, skins, and click this one. No, not that one. Just search Mac, but this one should be on the top, Mac OS X Leopard Skin. And it will give you this look. See, that's what I use. So when you download it, you want to go over to start. Um, you want to go to computer. Then go over to local this C. And go to wherever it's installed. So it's in program files 86. And click R for rocket dock. Double click it. And go to skins. And you want to drag the files from the zip folder into here. When you do that, you want to go back, second click this, dock settings, and go over to style, and go over to OS, OS X line. When you get it, it's probably going to have a skin like that, but when you go over to this, it's going to look like that. Now you'll need a theme. And a little app that gives you a start button where you can actually customize this too. So that will be down in the description. It's a little zip folder I made with all the files you'll need. So you want to uh, go ahead when you do that. Let me just go ahead and go to my downloads so I can show you guys what it's like. So here's the Mac pack. That's what it's going to be called. Check it out. So in here, you'll, you're going to have uh, theme files. Well, first, before you do that, you're going to click theme patcher. So, um, you'll, no, don't do that. I'm sorry. Don't, don't. Uh, go over to theme files and copy this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. You're going to go over to computer, local to see, windows, resources, and then themes and you're going to press paste but I already have it in here so I'm not going to press paste so when you have that you want to double click and click theme patcher this is what you do when you're done it's going to patch your theme so now my themes a little better I forgot to do this actually myself so then when you get that, you already installed Rocket Docs, you don't need that. You're going to go over to Classic Shell Setup and install that, which you already have installed. So when you're done, um, go to your start screen, go over here and click Classic Explorer Settings. Oh, my bad, wrong one. There's so much of these, I'm sorry. Classic start menu settings. And go over to your start button. So it's going to look like this. It's going to have the classic button. But you're going to click custom button. And then click this. Click here. And you're going to click this right here. But you cannot delete this file. It has to be in that same folder. So I recommend putting this in your documents. When you have that, um... You can set this as your desktop background, I think. Let me check. I am not sure. Um, yeah, you can set this as your desktop background when you're done if you want. To make you feel like more you have a Mac. So, let me go ahead and set this mine. So, now it looks like I really do have a Mac. It just gives you that feeling. But we're not done yet. When you have this little bar up here. You're going to second click it, 
go to taskbar properties and you want to click use small icons so use small taskbar buttons and taskbar location on screen click top taskbar buttons always combine hide labels and that's about it so now you want to go back to Google Chrome and you want to Google Mac OS X line cursor for Windows 8 and then um, click the first one it's going to be on Divine Art and this is what I used um, so get that when you have it you want to um, there's going to be like a little INI file you second click that and click install once you have you want to go over to control panel go over to mouse pointers and click Mac OS X M line once you have that you can go to iconspedia.com and you get little icons for rocket dot so if I empty my recycle bin um, you see it has a Mac icon which I got from Iconspedia Safari icon that's actually Google Chrome these icons my desktop and YouTube channels Camtasia recorder um, and my computer icon so that's what this will do when you have that you'll have a computer that looks pretty much like a Mac and you'll have that Mac user feeling you know if you know what I mean so um if you really want to feel like you have a map you can see that down here I have these little separators um you can add them but I think it looks better if you don't have them it's just because you don't have this option in when not Windows Mac so that's just a little better okay so that is it oh and if you want like a little shutdown thing like right here you can google that too um, and you should be able to make a little icon that is actually a bat file so if you don't know what a bat file is you can do a little research on that so that's it guys see ya bye